Hello and welcome back. I am Snow Monkey. This is episode 20 of my Ostrov Alpha 3 Patch 4 playthrough. In the last episode, we planned out a large house and expansion. In this episode, we're going to get that finished, decorated, and see if we can get possibly to 500 people. And make sure our food supplies can handle it. We have a decent food stock of 10,000 potatoes over here. We need to potentially build another granary over here. Now this farm which is purely industrial, hemp and sunflower. There is plans to add more industrial stuff into this game, which I'm looking forward to. There are still health buildings, education to be added, at a minimum. There's a larger list. I will stick the link to the website in the comments section of this video, if anybody would like to go and see the state of the game and the state of the development of the game. For now, how many uh, we have? Too many people looking. Too many open jobs. Sorry, not too many people looking. How's building coming along? It's actually going quite well. I presume our wagons are all out. Oh, well, not not all out, but it's horse pack replacement. Hmm. Do we have any horse pack? I would presume not. Be built. Need leather. Ah. Just need some lime. There's a lime up. There. Quick lime. I'm not sure what's stop it. No labour. That's not good. Hmm. New families. Every new family helps. Definitely a lot more people. And from now on, I might start doing some jump cuts just to speed things along. Because it's not exactly that entertaining sitting here waiting for all these houses to be built. But for now, we have a messenger from Mariva. Let's see what they need and what they're offering. Chickens, metal parts. If I had leather, I might actually have taken that. Hmm. We do have a lot of lime in export. We'll sell that one out. Sunflower oil. I could sell what we've got, why not? Buckwheat. We do not have a great deal. Because I don't know past the harvest season. But not that far past it. Now we never keep, seem to keep a stock of eggs. Not that they're worth much. Horseshoes. I don't worth selling it for 25. Sarrow, we have none. That's not good. I don't actually think we need anything else from here. Yeah. So we'll just let it go. We've got plenty of hemp for ourselves. Much wheat. Only 4,000. We should still get us through this year for the next harvest season. that note, I'll come back once more of these houses are done. So, we have now built some of the houses, not a lot, it's not by a great deal of time. A couple of things we have done since then is we've run through the, the cow sheds and removed a lot of the bulls, make sure we've got a decent supply of leather. We've also done the same with the horses rid of a lot of the excess horses because I don't think we're quite ready with horse tax supply 
to increase the amount of ships we have because we've got four wagons down right now. Which is really not good. It's very not a problem. And then June and August. But I also don't think we'll have a decent supply of leather to sustain much more. We also definitely do not have the population. We've also decided to stock less on trading posts. No more sunflower oil, no more shoes. Purely thinking we've got enough money right now. So our town comes first with supplies. No more constantly stocking up for sale. So we should see technically local sales increase. If we look at our financial report for this year, we're in April. We have imported only 150, but we have exported almost 400, which is good. But the problem is we are still in negative. In negative last year, we exported 2,800, but that is needed to cover just the running costs of the town. As you can see, salary is ridiculous. So housing, rent and local sales do not cover it. I was hoping to increase the local sales by not everything we produce going straight to a trading centre. So we'll see if it works. I also went through and get some of the boars. Because we don't need a lot of boars. What do we do really need is a lot more fresh batches dried fish which is good no idea but it's good we'll up the dried fish quantity there we have one two three four yes but still we could switch this on As you can see, we're almost at 370 or 369 people. So I don't know if the houses we have planned will even get as close to 500. But hopefully. Depends on the kids that come, any grandparents. The small things. But as you can see, everybody's back at work and we're still roughly 40 down. But new families coming in every time with a house built. There's almost like no delay. The wagons we do have are greatly speeding up production. There you go. It's quite pretty to be honest. We do have a lot of wagons, so no wagons. Carts. I believe everything has been ordered. Good. But the carpenter should be quite busy. Now no, he has fixed the ploughs. So I wasn't sure if I needed to supply new oxen. I would think there would come a time when we do need to supply new ox. I've also started to place a granary over here and bridge in across the river here and over here. So it's in this limestone deposit. Depleted, it will take a while. We can get to that one. Backup plans upon backup plans. I'm not sure now exactly. Used to be a stone deposit down here. I have it down here. But there is not a great deal. No, that's it for me. We don't want to sell anything or want anything. Because we're largely self sufficient now. Apart from the resources that you can't get by yourself, like salt and iron, the two resources we still need to export in. Uh, import, sorry. But where? I'm looking for stone. I'm not sure if there is any more stone on the map. Oh, yes. 
it's not up here. This is not up there. I don't even need a lot of stone anymore. So we're still gathering limestone for the next fire route. Yeah, we're now at 380. Yeah. In June, and it says there's over a hundred jobs required. But the problem comes because we decrease population to fill the job vacancies. But to increase population, we need to increase the markets, the food supply, almost everything, which can then create a lot more jobs. And speaking of food supply, how is the hay doing? I've had a couple of years where it's got quite dicey. I have a thousand units, or there, or six thousand units, almost. It's definitely a case of the more than the area. And he is moving it about, which is good. So there is a lot more coming in. Drive, drive. But we could probably do with a lot more. Well, there's something here as well, which is good, but as you can see, because of our labour shortage, they are not getting filled up rapidly. And I'm not sure if that's a problem of it's taking too long for people to go back and forth, or what. So if ever, if there's ever demand or a lot of updates for another season of this when I do this, I shall probably intermingle a lot more of the buildings and houses a lot less grid like even though I have to admit the town looks good and it's just going to expand from here and I don't know if I mentioned in the previous video but one thing I did notice see that's this the safe four trees to move it's not a good example of what I'm trying to say There's times when all it removes is the trees in the way of the actual building in the site. Balaclaya. There's our iron situation. We have plenty of it. Buckwheat. We do not have a lot, but it's almost harvest season. We're not buying charcoal. Nails? No. And what do they want? I say nothing that we can sell. I'd love to find a way to get a large excess supply of clothes, textiles, leather, some of the higher end supplies. We've got 1800 alone, a point two five, 450 units, uh, 450, which is good. You need a horse tax, no different points a lot, but they're worth a lot. Have the wagons been fixed yet? Some of them have. Sadly, make sure you're fully stocked. And they have finished batch of leather. And they're getting it. gathering supplies for the next batch. Need some more bark and some more water. We'll increase the number of batches, that's one thing we can do. Which will help. Batch the inside. The Mickey. Very good. But hey, barracks are slowly filling up. And how's our chickens? They're doing well. I'm not sure. So we try increasing the hatch limit in all three coops, all four coops, to see what effect that actually has. I'm not sure if that means to kill them quicker, because there's a lot more to replace them, or what. Yes, I know it would take a while if it didn't reach the maximum, but not that long. That's chickens. The white to reproduce. The one thing that I'm quite interested to see is the rabbit farms. It's obviously, they produce quick. They eat a lot of food, but they produce, reproduce quick. I have to 
forced that you can actually see some of the animations in the chickens. This is where I think it's a beautiful game and really well done. The popular look as if they're running about eating, and you can see the wee chicks dotted in between them. And you can see the variation in sizes as well, which is always nice to see. But there's another problem, we just have no labour. Oh. Don't have as much time. But I don't believe we have any wheat left anyway. 35. Which hopefully will not cost much bother. Because it is harvest time. And we have a lot of wheat coming in, as you can see. Labour is a problem. Deal. 160 jobs needed, including all the labour harvest season. We're well, actually doing quite well with these houses. We have, yes, full roll. It's slowing down the migration, the looks of it. Because normally it's been pretty instant. Have anything? Hemp. Where did you off there? In there. Good. Yeah, you found me already. No animals for slot. Have the pigs reproduced? Yes. And no. But, we're getting there. I said, we seem to have fish, let's look the economy. It's just normal fish. I don't know if it comes up here. I can't see it. Horse tax, okay. Aha. You better. 1738. So, so far we've produced almost 1900. Which is good. We sold almost the entire stock. Or not. We couldn't have had 900 returns in the dry fish, could we? Well, yes, but with 700. We still need a lot more fish this. I bet you can make a fish in this game. It'd be nice. I tell you, not to stop any. Oh, I just pressed apply to all. So, where's our main producer? I need to keep a decent stock. That's what you have to watch when you want the same building types to do slightly different things. It looks as if some of them are just to be that needs. Because so there is different requirements. Which is quite good. Need more leather. And the next batch is not even underway yet. But we do have 90 sitting there. Still lots of hide. Maybe it would be worthwhile making an art tannery. But for now we're doing okay. So 5,000 feet sitting in the granary, which is very, very nice. I'm hopeful that I have done the farms in such a way that there's some wheat coming in every year. We need a lot more buckwheat as well. There's potatoes. Do we have any buckwheat sitting in the farms? We should have had some. Yes, a wee bit there. A wee bit there. 
and obviously the pigs are using it and the chickens are using buckwheat. Now we do have a decent supply of eggs. So for now let's see if we can notice the difference. Eggs. Last year we produced 4300, this year we've produced 3400 in October. And that doesn't look much different. Hmm. have to keep an eye on that one. But we definitely don't have enough food supplies to justify a lot more animals. Well, chickens, pigs. Horses. We have three females and two males. Nice. We have a full barn. That seems to be the only full barn we have. <laughs> uh, a lot of bulls to be killed eventually. Cows are doing really well. But soon they, I believe, the year is 575 yearly. Can we go like that? And we're going to increase it to 500, which is good. So we'll tell them to increase the supply that they hold. Which is not a bad thing. But this is all, but all the hay we have until the next half in one season. No supply of food yet. You have a lot to go and get. So for now, I believe we're just going to make this video a little bit shorter. By the time I bring you back, this housing development will be complete and we'll see the state of the city coming by then. Thank you very much for watching, I am Snow Monkey, and if you're still here, please don't forget to subscribe. Whatever you do, enjoy.